Greetings YouTube. Today we're looking at world's worst monsters and villains, scary creatures of myth, folklore, and fiction. And this is one of the um, Scholastic book um, line. They've put out numerous copies of this. I think I own them all at this point, uh, but I'm not positive. Introduction. Okay, then we go right into ghouls. Horrible things that consume the dead. Um, Baba Yaga, everybody's favorite Russian hag. The Elf King. I gotta tell you, he doesn't look all that elf to me. He definitely more looks like a Goblin King. That's that's me. Mag Ogyemi Vuk. I don't really know much about this particular creature, I'll be honest, but he definitely would be inspirational for role-playing games, now wouldn't he? We have a troll, kind of a classic. That makes me think of, uh, I'm thinking of Warhammer trolls. <laughs> wow, this thing is really horrific. <laughs> the Nukalavi, single eye that burnt bright with a flame. That's kind of grotesque now, isn't it? The Amarok. The Cockatrice. No, I will admit, it's kind of a cartoony Cockatrice on that one. And we have a Kali Konzoros. Obviously some kind of Eastern European kind of vibe. The Vitala. Obviously inspired by a bat. Very creepy. And we have the Tat Zeldworm. Kind of a cat head. Frilled arms. Makes you think of the of a naga in some regards. The Bunyip. The Lag Sure. Some kind of vampire, obviously. Very long, nasty nails. The Zahak. Zahak. Two three headed. Three headed dragon. Three heads are better than one, right? The giant from Sinbad's third voyage. Don't remember the giant ears. The sorcerer from Aladdin. And I gotta tell you, while this is a person from legend, this is a person. And I always bugs me when they put people into categories of monsters. The wolf from the Three Little Pigs. Well, yeah, he's wolf monstrous as far as the pigs were concerned. The giant from Jack and the Beanstalk. Makes you wonder where he gets the giant nails. Lambton Worm. The Tanuki from Kachi Kachi Yama. How to turn a cute and adorable animal into a monster. The Little Otik. Some variety of ant. Or the ogre from the flea. Don't know that story. But apparently, they, he likes to eat humans because he's carrying them on his belt. Lord Voldemort. But he's got a nose. Did they get permission to use Lord Voldemort? Hmm. Gollum. I don't know if they got permission for him. The Red Weed. It's kind of interesting. Sorry. Saruman. Tharks. This is, I think, is probably public domain at this point. But I don't know what the Lord of the Rings characters are. The Snow Queen. Cthulhu. Isn't it, you don't usually like to pick Cthulhu with the proper mouth. Interesting. You don't think they have the proper scale. According to this, he's not much bigger than a human. He's almost twice the size of a human. Cthulhu really should be considered far, far larger than that. Loki. A god, but I don't consider Loki a monster. Type of sea monster. The Thilgeth. A headless creature. That's f creepy. Set again. I, I, I put that in the god category because well, he's a god. I'm just only considering him a monster. 
they are moot. Humbaba, that's a cool illustration. The Galu, Electo. Okay, definitely get that Greek thing going in there. The Vritra, Kamazots, obviously inspired by a bat. Argos. Argos falls into the category of a monster. The Atrio Atreoman. Inspired by things brought up deep sea and nets. The Morrigan. I don't know if that's a good monster or not. The Jingtine. Obviously, some kind of headless creature. Well, not totally. Eyes for nipples and a mouth for their. There's a number of monsters like that in, in Legend. He's creepy looking. He would fit right in with the mythos now, wouldn't he? So, there you go. This has been the world's worst monsters and villains. Another scholastic um, book.